Hello everybody, welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, the Ginyu Force came. And we demolished them, quite effortlessly, as you should, because the Ginyu Force, while they do have the swagger, they will never ever be that strong. It's just not gonna happen. And we also dealt with first form Frieza. So now we have pain ahead of us. Let us go. With the power of his transformed state, Frieza was a nightmare come to life. No. No. Hmm. Well, give me, give me him, give me him, and then you go last. I probably don't want Krillin to be out because I don't want him to suffer his his fate Ready? at second form Frieza. My first combo fully landed. Are we going to cook? Oh, I think, I think we're cooking him. I think we're cooking him well done. How did you get weaker as you transformed? You big blocker. Ooh. How the hell did I do that? I honestly have no idea how I did that. I want to do that more. Uh, doesn't matter, because he's, uh, he's already dead. He's already dead. There we go. You poor fool. And we got him. I just started the episode. You're already getting folded like an omelette. Against Frieza's unimaginable power, the mighty Vegeta was rendered helpless as a child. That is not what happened, game. That is not what happened. Elsewhere, Piccolo discovered another Namekian warrior, Nail, on the verge of death. Piccolo fuses with him and gains the incredible powers of a Super Namek. That's... That's not what a... That's not what a Super Namek is. That's what Slug was, but Pic Piccolo is not a, a Super Namek. It's not... No. He just fused with Nail. As all hope seemed lost for Vegeta and the others, the newly transformed Piccolo appeared. Sorry to keep you waiting. Piccolo! Now then, how about I clean up this trash? I'll do it alone. You guys keep out of it. Maggots! Maggots? Maggots, Frieza, I am a higher level than you. Piccolo is my OG. My first character. You stand zero chance. Oh, he's so fast. He's so fast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's good to be back, my man, Piccolo. You know, at this rate, Piccolo's about to be better to play as than Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The fight's already over, it took like 40 seconds. Damn! All right, now give me the third form. Give me the big old Xenomorph Schlonger head. Piccolo demonstrates that his new powers are not to be taken lightly, but Frieza is unafraid. He just stood there, unfazed. Do you really think that was the full extent of my power? What? Frieza surprises them all, announcing that he has two more transformations yet to make. 
Can Piccolo stand up to this evil foe? Uh, s slightly. Sli slightly he can. He will get a few, uh, few uh, new additions to his body. Frieza shocks the Z Fighters, revealing his third monstrous form. Now, let's try this again, shall we? You, you monster. Oh yeah, and I do have to mention, at the time of me recording this, the release date trailer for Sparking Zero just came out. Good golly gee. It's got a story mode, and it's got what if decision-based story mode oh my goodness it's going to be cracked it's going to be nuts and i cannot wait will i be playing it day one though will i be recording it day one i mean uh no no sadly but i will get around to it you will see the game just not, you know, immediately. Nope. Yeah, you... You fucked up by, by giving me Piccolo. You're just not gonna win. Bastard. I was gonna hit that. Bye bye. Now I think we're on to we're on to final form already. Hasn't even been that long in the episode. Even with his new super namic powers, Piccolo is no match for Frieza in his transformed state. As a last sight before they die, Frieza announces he will show them all his final form. Now witness a power more fearsome than death itself. Vegeta intentionally suffers a near fatal blow and is revived by Dende's powers of healing. In this desperate manner, Vegeta hopes to raise his powers and become a Super Saiyan. It's funny to me how Vegeta just takes a Zenkai boost, and then he's like, oh, the power! I'm a Super Saiyan! Like, no, man. No, you're not. You are... you look and feel the exact same. You, you just got a Zenkai boost. Once again, Vegeta challenges Frieza. Has his plan to become a Super Saiyan succeeded? But I am what you truly fear, a Super Saiyan! <laughs> Insane with fear. Um, yes. Yeah, you can see he's he's not a Super Saiyan, because that still just says Vegeta Scatter. There is no Super Saiyan epithet to to add to that, you silly man. Ready? Fight. I'm blocking that. Okay, he's a, he's a little more beefy now, but I think that may just because I'm Vegeta. Cause I'm Vegeta, and you're not Vegeta. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah. Why was Rakum like dodging my combos better than Frieza is? Did they give the AI a handicap or something? Oh, he tried it. What? No. How? How did he still land that? That was bullshit. I 
I, God damn it. Okay, okay. Now the AI is, is playing the game. Now they're actually going. But the Saiyans are a true warrior race. So you're still not winning. Goodbye. Shit. Shit. Literally one tap. You big bitch. Go away. Bum 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 Alright, no more faffing about. Let's let's kill this guy. Frieza's final form proves unstoppable. His spirit's crushed. Vegeta loses the will to fight. Piccolo and the others can only stand in awe before Frieza's nightmarish power. However, a light of hope still remains. Goku! Goku! Please save us! Oh yeah. This is why the saga is going so fast, is because there's no in-between bits between the fights, because there's literally nothing on the map. Finally recovered from his wounds, Goku emerges stronger than ever. He has become the one thing you fear the most. A Super Saiyan! Vegeta, you can't just say it and expect it to be true. Hearing Vegeta's scornful laugh, Frieza strikes down the Saiyan Prince with his death beam. His consciousness fading, Vegeta tells Goku the terrible truth of the planet Vegeta's fate. Fearing the rise of a Super Saiyan, Frieza had destroyed planet Vegeta and the Saiyan race. You must Kakarot. Defeat Frieza for all Saiyans. He's finally gone. Then let the horror show continue. Vegeta, lend me some of your Saiyan pride. Let's finish this! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And actually, like, three more fights, four more. There's still a few more to go. But this is the start of the end. You big bulbous head ass looking... I fired that before he got to me. I wonder, is there a Dragon Ball anywhere here? Because I, I do still need to summon Perunga to see what he has. Because I'm pretty sure he has different things than Shenron. I god damn it. God damn it. Hate. I hate those moves. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Nope. He tried it again. Nope. Oh. I'm playing Dragon Ball. I'm playing Dragon Ball. He's playing it too, goddammit. Eat the dirt. Eat my Kaioken. Goodbye. Eat, eat. Die. There we go. Alright. Almost there. Goku's strength has increased immensely, but there seems no limit to Frieza's power. The only chance for victory is the Spirit Bomb. Can Goku gather the energy he needs? Well, he can if, um, certain green man helps out, hmm? Piccolo? <laughs> yes. As Frieza moved to stop Goku from gathering energy, Piccolo and the others intervened. P Piccolo! I'll hold him off 
until your spirit bomb is ready. The Z Fighters concentrate their remaining power and challenge Frieza to a final match. Fi final match. Final match. I wonder if we'll, we'll then have to do another Goku fight to signify the spirit bomb. Ready? Or is this it? Oh, he tried. He tried to get away, but you can't get away from Piccolo. I got too much reach. Smack you on your big bald head. Jerry Bullet. Oh my, oh my god, oh my, oh my goodness. I demolished him so fast. Oh. A little, a, li a little spoiler there, a little spoiler there, but we, t we take those. As Frieza is crushed by the Spirit Bomb, the Z Fighters believe the battle won. What is it? No! Frieza! Cutscene. Yes. Did you really think I'd let you go? I'm going to crush you all like the insects you are! Not very theatric, but it gets the job done. You've killed so many innocent people already. And now Krillin. This time you're going to pay, Frieza. I'm angry. Let's go. Oh, the the all, oh, the might of the Super Saiyan. Ooh, let's go. Fueled by his rage at Frieza's terrible crimes, Goku has transformed into a Super Saiyan. Who are you? Don't you know? I am the hope of the universe. I am the answer to all living things that cry out for peace. I am a Super Saiyan! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You thought I was killing you before? You thought, you thought it was so easy before? It's going to be infinitesimally easy. You know, if he uh, if he doesn't um, dodge my combos. <laughs> I blocked that. I blocked that. No. Okay. Hang on. What the fuck is this? Why did he get harder when I turned into a Super Saiyan? That that shouldn't be how it works. Uh, you big bitch. I, I can't land my combo anymore. I can't do it. Fine. You won't let me hit my combo? I'm just going to keep doing this until you're dead. You nasty thing. You killed Grillin! Meteor Smash. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, 
How dare you sweep my legs when I can't sweep yours, you big cheater. Cheater, cheater, fucking pumpkin eater. No. Nope. Okay. Why did the AI decide to get cracked when I turned Super Saiyan? That's not how it works. It's not how it works. Alright, but there should only be one more? One more, I believe? Unable to defeat Goku, Frieza launches an attack aimed at destroying planet Namek itself. In five minutes, this planet will be destroyed. Five minutes. Five minutes is more than enough. That's so true. All right, here we go. As the battle raged on, King Kai used the Dragon Balls to transport everyone but Goku and Frieza safely back to Earth. Now, Goku and Frieza are alone, locked in an epic struggle to decide the fate of the universe. Sorry to keep you waiting. This is the full power that you wanted. There's no time. Let's get this over with, quick! And you can tell this is the end, because the narrator came back, let's go, for Big Brolic Frieza. And finally, we're on Destroyed Namek. I missed the stage in Tenkaichi 1. It is very cool. I blocked high. I did. I did. Check the damn footage, I did. And yet he broke my god. Nope. How? Please tell me how. I contacted with him before he hit me. Therefore, my rush attack should have come out first. You cheating game. There we are. Now, sadly, since this is Tenkaichi 2, my goat is still not here. Goku mid. He's, he's still just one character right now. They have not cut him up yet. But we will see him. The king will be here soon. Time to end this canonically. Oh, you try to kill me? You fool! Why do they backstep? Every time, why do they backstep? No! You fool! There we go. The Fraser Saga is dead. And we got. We got the members card, bronze. We, we can get more stuff in the shop now. And we got the... The Macchio Star. The... The Macchio Star. The evil Frieza was destroyed along with the planet Namek. And Goku was feared lost as well. But when those on Earth called upon the Dragon Balls to bring back their fallen friends, they were informed that Goku was still alive, flying through space on his way home. Will Goku make it back to Earth safely? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he will. Alright, there we go. Frieza Saga's finally done. Now I think I can only get maybe like one character in Evolution Z. I believe. Let's see, what do we what do we even have? We have unsealed. Yeah, we do unsealed and Zarbon. And that gets transformed to Zarbon. Super Zarbon. Hmm. Never heard him referred to like that before. Um, dun, dun, dun. 
Yeah, and then we take Frieza Final Form and Ultimate Transformation. And that gets, uh... That gets full power, Frieza. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Alright, we do this. Full power Frieza, and we take the we take the two down here. Frieza soldier and Vegeta's rival. And we get bitch ass Kui. Nasty Kui. There we go. Because we unlocked like most of the characters just from doing the fights. Yet for some reason we had to unlock Kui. We couldn't just get Kui, okay. Alright, before I end it. Let me... Let me start this. Please tell me why... So they don't have the Dead Zone movie in the game. But they have the Garlic Jr. filler arc? What? Okay, sure. Why, why not? I guess they had to get him in the game somehow. Sealed within the dead zone by Goku, Garlic Jr. finally escaped. For revenge, Garlic Jr. has used the Blackwater Mist to turn mankind into monsters. With Goku's whereabouts unknown, it's up to the remaining Z Fighters to confront this new threat. And the fate of the Earth now rests on the shoulders of Goku's young son, Gohan. To defeat Garlic Jr., Gohan will have to summon all of his power to destroy the Makio Star. Now, how many fights could this realistically have? I'm, I'm gonna think only like three. Uh, so let's just, uh, let's just get going and hopefully I finish this soon. Because I don't want No one's watching the damn Makio Star arc. Well, hello, Tien. Got nothing for me? Great. Let's go to Kami's. This should be a fight. Hello, Popo. What do you got for me? Great Ape Vegeta. Damn monkey again. I hate fighting them. But I should be... You know? You know, I, I, I defeated two before, so I, I should be able to beat one. I should. I... Why, why does Gohan charge for so long? Go away. No. No, no. Go away. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not doing it. No. No. Super unyielding spirit. No. Yeah, Gohan, uh, Gohan just works for these fights because they can't do nothing to this move huh <sighs> I don't know I don't know why I, I keep trying to, to fisticuffs him it's a big monkey I can't do it I have to do this. No. Alright, and one more and you should be dead. Goodbye. Popo. No more monkeys. Please. I don't like fighting them. That didn't even give me any levels. That's some shit. Alright, now let's... 
Let's go ahead and start this. Having long ago been imprisoned by Goku within the Dead Zone, the sinister Garlic Jr. has managed to escape. Now, as his first act of revenge, he has invaded Kami's lookout and taken the Earth's guardian captive. With Kami out of the way, Garlic Jr. has released his Black Water Mist, a vapor which turns humans into monsters. Meanwhile, as Gohan and his friends enjoyed a happy reunion at Master Roshi's Island, Transformed by the Black Water Mist, Master Roshi and Yamcha suddenly attack the others. Why? Don't hurt them, Gohan. Somebody's making them do this. So y'all done fucked up again by giving me Piccolo. If you don't want me to win, don't give me Piccolo. It's just a recipe for disaster on your end. You poor, poor game. And you... Put me up against Yamcha and Roshi. How do you expect me to lose? Bye. I don't know how I didn't land that. <laughs> Alright, come on, Roshi. Oh, you, you, you poor, you poor old man. Roshi from the Tournament of Power, you are not. I got you in a damn loop. Goodbye. Sad. You got the Macchio stash. That's that's one component. Knowing that these monsters were innocent human beings, the sea fighters were reluctant to harm them. <laughs> Not me. Unable to defend himself. Piccolo succumbed to his attackers, just as Gohan and the others arrived on the scene. The scene being Kami's, I assume? Yes. Uh, but what's in this, uh, what's in the city? Mr. Satan. Oh. And there's nothing here? You might fight the Dragon Ball. I I know. I still need four to make make another wish. Oh Lord! Gohan and the others fight their way to Kami's lookout, where they meet an unexpected foe. Indeed, very much coward. Mr. Piccolo! Sadly, we can't use Piccolo against Piccolo, but uh, Kid Gohan has also been uh, kinda good so far, so hopefully he can live up to his master. And they're not letting me hit my combo. Great. I'm up, I'm up here. I'm up here, man. Alright. I'm gonna just, uh... 
Hmm. I'm gonna just sit up here. I Bullshit, he got there faster. Sorry, commies. Is there a Dragon Ball? Is there, is there a Dragon Ball in here? No? Okay. I was just wondering. Because there was always a guaranteed one in Tenkaichi 1. Yet. I hate that the computer always uses that. Nope. Even even from that long distance, you're not landing that. Uh huh. I you stop it. Double back to back, you big bitch. Nope. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. And you with uh with, with this you should uh, you should be done. Bye bye. How did you dodge all of it? That makes no sense. Here we go. Hey. Bum 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 bubble bubble bum bubble bubble bum. We got the dead zone. We've got the whole dead zone in our pocket. Gohan's respect for Piccolo prevents him from fighting with his full potential. And now, in an effort to protect Gohan, it seems Krillin has become a monster as well. Sorry, Garlic Jr., but I'll be taking this now. Catching Garlic Jr. off guard with his clever ruse, Piccolo succeeds in rescuing Kami. You. Now free, Kami and Mr. Popo race off on a dangerous mission to retrieve the sacred water. The time has come to defeat Garlic Jr. once and for all. Good, because he's a nasty little turd. He's basically Pilaf, but worse. Safely returned to his lookout, Kami used the sacred water to reverse the effects of the black water mist. Yeah, I'll get you for this! Go on, Krillin, do it! Right! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they done give me Piccolo again. Let me demolish this little, tiny, nasty thing. They couldn't even get your own movie in the game. They had to get your damn filler arc. Get the hell out of here. And luckily for me, and sadly for you, your combos are very, very easy to telegraph. Ah, god damn it. That, that's on me. That was on me. Does this mean we don't fight buff Garlic Jr.? Because this is the last fight of the of the saga. That thing has stupid range. 
Oh, no stamina. No stamina. No stamina. <laughs> Nowhere. Hang on. Nowhere to run. Be gone. I was a little bit quicker. Ah, ah, ah. And with that, we got to the giant form and Cooler's Revenge. Now there's a saga I'm good with starting an episode on. That's more like it. Despite their most desperate efforts, the attacks of Gohan and the others had no effect on the immortal Garlic Jr. Have you forgotten? Shenron granted me eternal life! Enraged that his plans had again been foiled, Garlic Jr. attempted to seal his enemies inside the dead zone. Gohan, they're in the sky! Blast it! On Piccolo's command, Gohan fired a mighty blast aimed at the Makio Star. The source of his power destroyed, Garlic Jr.'s fearsome strength drained from his body, and he was pulled into the dead zone. Thus, Garlic Jr. was vanquished. The Z Fighters had once again saved the Earth. Piccolo couldn't help but feel proud that Gohan had grown into a true hero, just like his father. You're damn skippy. All right. And with that, I'm going to go fuse. Hey, you came! Hop, 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 got two little things right here just two little things we take the macchio star in the dead zone and we get the nasty garlic jr and then we take uh uh this new giant form we got and then we take garlic jr and we get his big buff form that we didn't even fight perfect all right and with that, I'll end it there. You can, now you, can power. <laughs> you can have all sorts of adventures flying around Earth in space. I've been Player One, and I'll see you next time when we take on Frieza's brother. Wah. And then I think, uh, and then I think it's Frieza's brother again, even though that doesn't really. It's a we that's a weird spot to put Metal Cooler, but that's that's where they put it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah. Alright. Bye-bye.